The fights presented by Casey General Store. The A main for these Midwest Modifieds rolling out onto the racetrack right now. Let's set them up for you. He'll be trying to go two in a row tonight. That's Jerry Langton in car number 35 on his outside. Your points champion from 2018, Elijah Keeper. On the inside of road number two in the Wald excavating number seven car, that's Justin Wald. Jeremy Leahy in car number 20. Ian Morissette starts inside row number three, and on his outside, it'll be Jared McIntyre. Kenny Walker in car number 51, the Youngblood Auto Group machine on the inside of row number four. Ron McClellan in car number 73. Trent Robinson in the 27. Tim Johnson in car number 25. Doug Schism in car number 22. Lacey Minzy in the 41. Justin Yakko in car number 11. James Lee in the 003. James Lee, Lee, James Lee in the 003. Steve Moore in car number 67. Roy Kelly in the five. And Kyle Bates in car number 74. Driving a plain yellow wrapper tonight, Dennis. Yeah, that's not the car we typically see. Typically, he drives the black Bubba's barbecue car. And uh, in fact, we got one of those pictures up here to give away to our kids tonight. Here we go. Green flag is coming out. Langton leads him to the line. Going to be a great battle up front and already. Cherry Langton and Elijah Keeper going side by side down the back stretch into turn number three. Trouble for Eubanks back in the pack in the number 65. He recovers. He's back under power again. Meanwhile, up front, it's a good battle for the lead. Jeremy Leahy hanging in there with the leaders right now in car number 20 in third. Justin Wald is going three wide into turn three. Caution on the speedway. Caution is out for Eubanks. And uh, I mentioned before he had some problems coming off of turn number two. And indeed, it's a right front tire that is flat on the 65. He'll go back to the pit area and try to get that tire fixed. Oh. And just got word and <laughs> uh, once again, Dennis, my fault. That's John Langton behind the wheel of the 35. Last night it was Jerry Langton, but tonight John's driving the 35. Now, that's the car normally John drives throughout the season. And, uh, hey, I just gave him a great compliment. He, he looks like his dad out there on the racetrack. So that's that's a good compliment. And, and John does do a nice job behind the wheel of that 35. He does, and he's picked up a win in that number 35. But uh, Jerry has been driving that car a little bit here at the end of the year after the A-Mods finished their season up. But uh, that's a good hot rod, and John, Jerry, whichever it is, tonight it's John, uh, they can put that thing up front, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Boy, good strong field of Casey's General Stores. Midwest Modifieds as usual. And uh, hopefully you banks can get that tire changed quickly and get back out here, and we can get things back underway. It looks like we're going to go ahead and double up. So we double up behind leader, Elijah Keeper. That'll put John Langton alongside Jeremy Leahy in car number 20. Off turn number four, here we go, green in the air. Justin Wald making a strong move. is troubled for Doug Schism almost off the top of the racetrack in one and two. Keeps it on the racetrack. We stay green with Elijah Keeper in front of John Langton. A lot going on on the racetrack all the way through the pack. Middle of the pack, really busy as they go down the back stretch. Meanwhile, up front, Elijah Keeper looking good. Jared McIntyre trying to use that top lane as he did last night to try to move towards the front. Now dives it down to the bottom in the number nine, trying to get up into that number four position. He has to let out of it just a little bit as he drifted up the track. 
nearly collected Leahy, but was able to stay off of him. As they come down the front stretch into turn number one, Langton looking at the top. Ian Morissette racing hard back there with Ron McClellan. That's a great battle just outside the top five. Up front though, Elijah Keeper all the way in the lead by himself by a single car lane. Wald almost sideways as he comes off of turn number four. Leahy's gonna draw up on him in that number 20 car. Meanwhile, now it's Keeper down on the bottom, Langton up top, and we got problems in turn number one. Cars scattering everywhere. Yako, Moore, Johnson. And looks like the 27 involved as well. Trent Robinson. And the number five of Roy Kelly. And so a four or five car incident there. And Dennis, there's so much action on the racetrack, I did not see that unfold. Looks like Lacey Menzi involved in the number 41 car. But John Langton was making a bid for the lead. And all of a sudden I hear caution. And I tell you what, let's give a call to Ron McClellan. Ron doing a nice job in that 73 car right now up into the number four spot looks like. And Jared McIntyre in fifth. Looks like Roy Kelly and Trent Robinson both going to rejoin the field. But some great racing here in the Midwest Modified A Main presented by Casey's General Store. Yeah, a lot going on all the way through the field when our Midwest Modified, so I as well did not see how that got started, but it did collect about four cars over there in turn number two. Well, can Elijah Keeper keep that 81 car out in front of John Langton? We're going to find out. And don't count out Jared McIntyre. He's still deep in the field, at least about seventh looks like. But came on late in the going last night. We'll see if he can do the same thing. What's the thing about these Midwest Modifieds? You just can't count anybody out. They, uh so many good drivers and pretty level playing field right here at these Midwest Modifieds. We've seen a lot of different winners in this division. Not only this year, but over the last two or three years, it's just you never know who's going to rise to the top and take that checkered flag. And these guys up front, Langton and Keeper, they're obviously two of the guys that run top five just about every single week. But uh, you got several guys out there that could run up there and pick up a win. And that's what makes this Midwest Modified Division so much fun. As we get the cars lined up, try to get under green again. The 25 of Johnson coming back out. Tim Johnson, the number 25, making it back out onto the speedway. We're going to get him doubled up, and we're going to go back under green, I believe, the next time around. Yeah, you know, as we look out on this field right now, you got several former feature winners, Elijah Keeper, John Langton, right up there at the front. Kyle Bates back there in that 74 car. We know he's been to Victory Lane multiple times. All right, just about got the field ready to roll. All right, trying to get a couple of cars moved. Looks like we're going to leave them where they are and just get ready to go. Elijah Keeper will be out in front all by himself in the Delaware double file restart. John Langton and Justin Wald right behind him. 
John Langton picking the top lane. He had choice. Everybody else falls in line. And the double file restart. A nice little, uh, nice little angle, I guess you might say. It really adds some interest to uh, these restarts. And it certainly does. You got a guy like uh, McIntyre there, or Leahy, who might have been two or three car lengths back. Now just two. Here we come off of turn number four. And Wald on the bottom side of Langton trying to pick up that spot. Meanwhile, over in turn two, Menzi having some problems, and we got debris on the backstretch. And Roy Kelly, the number five car, involved in another spin down here in turn number four. And I believe that's uh, Tim Johnson in the number 25. Uh, Johnson was involved in the other deal down here in turn number two. Had to go to the pits, get a tire. And it looks like he might have been better off staying there as he's got some damage to the rear end of that number 25 car. Yeah, a tough break for him. Both those incidents, I think, nothing to do with anything that he did. And yeah. obviously, he's going to be uh, in a position to have to go back to the pit area right now. Right rear tire may believe, be down on that car. Yep. Yeah, it is tough break. He had to go to the back of the pack because of the other caution. And uh, just back there and one of those deals, he just found the trouble didn't make it but he found it and uh, he's going back to the pit area with the tore up race car All right, so it'll be the one-to-go signal when they come across the start-finish line. It will be a single-file restart this time. And per track rules, if we cannot get a double-file restart to work, we'll do it single-file. And that's exactly what we're seeing right here. Single-file restart with Elijah Keeper, John Langton, Justin Wald, Jeremy Leahy, and Jared McIntyre. All right, and uh, as we get ready to go under green, as I said a while ago, talking about the double foul restart. It makes a car length difference, two car lengths difference for McIntyre. Here's they come off a of turn number four. Green is in the air, and Elijah Keeper got off to a good start. About a four car length lead over Langton. Langton running a little bit higher on the racetrack as they come off turn number four. Justin Wald running the low line, now jumps up top in one and two. McIntyre has caution one more time and it's gonna be the five once again of Roy Kelly. And the 65 of Eubanks bringing out the caution. All right, trying it one more time. Is that a couple of cars getting together there at the back? All right, it'll be a single file restart once again for Elijah Keeper out in front. John Langton, Justin Wold, top three. Of 
Going to get a green flag this time as they come down the back stretch. Nice and easy. And it's going to be Keeper leading them in. He's on the gas coming into three and four. And green flag is coming out. Out in front, it's Elijah Keeper trying to hang on to this lead, but John Langton not going to let it go quietly. Up on the top side, meanwhile back there, Wald and McIntyre racing. Woo! Racing for the number three spot. We got another caution over here in turn number two. So once again, under the caution flag here, Roy Kelly going around in turn one and two. So Elijah Keeper, once again out front, would like to see this thing stay green. What? I'm sorry. All right, Elijah Keeper once again with the lead over John Langton. And Dennis, you gotta wonder if we could get some extended green flag laps in, if some of these cars might be good on a long green run, but really we haven't had one. No, and we're not gonna find out either because uh, due to time constraints and excessive cautions, uh, the laps have been cut down on the Midwest Modifieds, unfortunately. There's three laps to go, so we're not going to have a green, long green flag run. Let's try to do this one more time as they come off of turn number four next time. And uh, see if Keeper can hold off that number 35 of Langton. And I tell you what, Langton was putting the pressure on him that last time we ran a lap. And... Uh, so we'll see if he can do that once again. Wald and McIntyre tied up pretty good for a good battle back there, but number one prize is what they're wanting. Here they come down the back stretch into turn number three. We're going to figure it out. Here they come off turn number four. Elijah Keeper leading them in, and John Langton trying to give chase down into turns of one and two. Langton going to the top side. Schism into the wall on the front stretch here. He keeps it straight. We're still under green. White flag in the air. One more time around for Elijah Keeper. John Langton may run out of time trying to run down the lead. Jared McIntyre also fast up there, but going to run out of time. It's going to be checkered flag for Elijah Keeper. John Langton and Justin Wald finishes up in third. And just by a little bit, as he come up the track there, a little bit of contact between him and McIntyre, just racing hard all the way to the end there. No harm intended. Those guys running hard all the way to the end and good battle there between Wald and McIntyre. And uh, Midwest Modifies wrapping it up. All right, at this time, we are going to take a short intermission. Now, the next race coming up is going to be the 100 lapper for the Malvern Cash Money. Oh. 
After that, it will be the Pure Stock A Main, followed by B Mod and Legend rounding out the night. We need our junior fan down here at the flag stand, please. Junior fan of the week down at the flag stand. And race fans, if you want to get an up-close view of the Malvern Bank Cash Money Super Dirt Series and the drivers, they are all back here behind the grandstand. I'm sure you already knew that. You heard the firing of the engines a few minutes ago. So you can come back here and meet some of the drivers. And they continue to bring some of those cars back here behind the grandstand. 22 field, 22 car field, I should say, lined up, ready to go. And it's going to turn out to be a dandy. I tell you what, 100 laps coming up here very shortly. And a lot of good hot rods. Some beautiful cars out there. <laughs> 